Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Capricorn for the month of July. I'm using the Witch's Tarot this month and I'm using the uh, Doreen Virtues Romance Angels. I'm going to let one card fall from there. Um, if you're new to my channel, a little bit about myself. I'm what's called a clairsentient, which means that I can feel past, present and future through emotions. Okay, so what that means is I read people so I can actually feel what another person feels. So if you're in a relationship and you're not getting, um, you're getting mixed messages, I can feel whether that other person loves you because then I would feel love. I could feel whether they're playing games because then I would feel like I want to play games. So I take on their feelings. That's how um, I do readings. And then I do a tarot spread at the end, but I read people. That's where I shine. That's where I do my best work. I'm very accurate when it comes to that. I would say maybe, you know, 90%. Uh, I don't want to say 100% because, you know, no such thing as being always right all of the time. Okay. This is just a general reading. So um, if this reading resonates with you, that's great. If it doesn't, you can always purchase a reading from me. My email address will be at the bottom of the video. Um, I will get back to you within a few hours, usually no more than 24 hours. And I have the readings um, out within 48 hours. I don't like to make people wait. Most people who come to a reading are in crisis. Um, they are lost. They're lonely. They're confused. And they need guidance. And I, I'm, I try make I try to make people um, uh, see things more clearly. I take it very seriously. This, you know, I don't play with people's lives. I take it seriously. I'm here to help, and um, I tell the truth. So, all right. So what I will do is I will shuffle till one card falls out each time. So we'll give it a good shuffle. All right, what are the messages for Capricorn for the month of July? Capricorn for the month of July. Capricorn for the month of July. All right, what are the messages for Capricorn for the month of July? Capricorn for the month of July. And if more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck because I only want one card at a time. Those are um, clarity cards and jumpers. All right. There's the first card. All right. What are the messages for Capricorn for the month of July? Capricorn for the month of July. Capricorn for the month of July. Capricorn for the month of July. What are the messages? Got two cards again. I'm gonna put those back. Fix this up a little bit. All right, Capricorn for the month of July. Capricorn for the month of July. Capricorn for the month of July. Messages for Capricorn for July. Two cards again. Capricorn for the month of July. Capricorn for the month of July. That one almost jumped out of my hand. There we go. Capricorn for the month of July. for the month of July. Jeez, they're just jumping, hey? But not completely out of my hands. There's another one. Capricorn for the month of July. Capricorn for the month of July. Oops. Capricorn for the month of July. Messages for Capricorn for the month of July. Capricorn for the month of July. Capricorn for the month of July. 
one more card. What are the messages for Capricorn for the month of July? Capricorn for the month of July. All right, I just want to make sure that this is... Ah, it's very crooked here. Sorry about that, guys. All right. Hopefully you guys can see all this. Okay, so the very first card we have is the King of Wands. This card represents the relationship. Now, you could be involved with, now because this is a general reading, it could be male or female. So it's a Capricorn, sorry, it's a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo person. This is somebody who is um, an alpha male, bold leader, charmer. They've got courage. Um, however, because it represents the relationship, um, it could speak about um, just it being uh, very passionate right now, okay? So I'm going to just see what the meaning of it is rather than people. So the King of Wands is a card that represents... Um, willing to take a risk, all right? Um boldly confident. So this relationship can be um, very center stage this month. Okay, you can see all the red that this king is wearing. It's about passion. All right. So um, it's about being able to move forward. And it's just powerful, bold, inspiring. Uh, there's vitality here. It's dramatic. So I feel like you're going to have a fun month this month. It could possibly be with um, a fire sign. Okay. So if you're involved with a fire sign, then there you go. There's, there's the card for you. All right. Then we have the Knight of Wands. There it is. Another, another um, sign that it's, it is a male or female, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Now the Knight of Wands, this is what's going on in their mind. And the Knight of Wands is about um, being lusty, free-spirited, passionate, all right? So um, self-assured, charming, enthusiastic, okay? So in their mind, they know what they want. They want to be bold, enthusiastic, um, adventurous, daring. They know what they want with you. But see, on the other hand, here's you and what's going on in your mind. And this is the nine of pentacles. This is you perhaps wanting to be alone, having fun. The nine of pentacles is about self-sufficiency and just being solo. So this person wants to perhaps move forward with you. They know what they want, but you're kind of like, you know what? I need some space. I just want to kind of do things maybe for the month of July by myself, just kind of you know, be solo and uh, perhaps maybe uh, just be a little bit um, on the uh, controlling, being controlling of the situation. All right. It is a, a sense of inner security and um, acting on your own. So for you, you might be playing it cool this month. Okay. All right, so then we have the Three of Wands, and this card represents their feelings and their emotions. And the Three of Wands is about teamwork, okay? So this, this person still in their, in their heart now, in their feelings and emotions, they want that teamwork, okay? They still want to grow it with you. It's about... Um, knowing what is going to happen, having an open perspective. So they're open to you. It's starting a new journey. Uh, and it's knowledge as power and awareness of your intentions. So in, they, in their heart and in their feelings, they know what their intentions are. But then here we go. There's you. Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is about um, patience, hard work. It's about delayed success. It's about waiting you know, it's, it's growing something, but not really, um, uh, enjoying the fruits of your labor yet. So this card here is about, you've planted the seed. You're just a little bit more longer going to, to, to kind of 
um, get it going. So you've planted the seed, you've watered, you've fertilized, you've weeded, but you just, it's, it isn't there yet. Okay. So it's evaluation. So in your mind or sorry, in your feelings and your emotions, you're still evaluating here. It's checking your progress. Um, it's ready to make another move and it's seeing results. Okay, it's evaluation, it's your fruits of your labor, it's assessment. So right now you could be at that assessment stage. Okay, all right, so how they represent themselves on the outside is the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is about, like Aces are always new beginnings. And this is about um, conflict, maybe. It's about mental clarity. It's about clarity, truth, cutting through illusions, and realizing the way. This person's all in this month, all right? It's establishing what is wrong. Um, it's mental adroitness, okay? So it's like it's having clarity and truth in the situation, and they have it. And here you are again. Here it's like it's like the the uh, temperament card is about balance, harmony, self control, moderation. All right, so they know exactly what they want which is a true blue Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, they go for it. And as the true blue Capricorn, you are taking your time with your feelings, with your thoughts, and the way you show it. So temperance, this is about just keeping balance, self-control, moderation, you know, um, not jumping in. You can see here she's just in this card. Okay, so in this card, you can, whoops, you can see she's just like dipping her toe in the water. So this person isn't, you know, so you're not jumping in head first. You're just kind of, let's feel the waters. Let's see how this is going. Okay. All right. So it's up to you. Seems to me that ball's in your court this month. All right. What are the messages for all Capricorns out there? What is the message for all Capricorns? What is the message for all Capricorns? Two cards fell out. What is the message for all Capricorns? 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 Message for Capricorn for the month of July. Message for Capricorn for July. Message for Capricorn for July. There we go. Hmm. Unrelinquid, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. All right. Might be on your part. All right. These cards here. Okay, so these cards here are showing you want to kind of, in your mind, be somewhat alone. This is your feelings are growing, but very slowly, and there's moderation here. So it kind of makes sense. Unrequented love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. This person's in. All right. Okay, so that is your reading for the month of July. I hope that this reading makes sense to you. Again, if you would like to purchase a reading, email me. I will get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.